When you look at an unfamiliar word, it makes no sense to you. What the hell is this? How to immediately understand the definitions of words you have never seen before? How to learn English vocabulary quickly and never forget it? One of the best ways is to learn Latin and Greek roots, which are basic elements of English. A single root can generate over a hundred words. If you know about dozens of roots, you'll master thousands of words. Why is learning Latin and Greek roots essential to building your vocabulary? Well, over 60% of English words have Latin or Greek roots. Over 90% of the words related to sciences and technology have Latin or Greek roots. American students often learn these roots to improve their vocabulary for standardized tests. How do word roots work? You can break words down into several parts like prefixes, roots, and suffixes. These parts will shape the meaning of the final word. Take the word philosophy for example. This word comes from the Greek root philo, meaning to love, and sophos, meaning wisdom. So philosophy is the love of wisdom. Wow. There are other words having the root philo. Philanthropist means a lover of humans. That is someone who generously donates money and helps others. Bibliophile means a lover of books. Take the word autobiography. It breaks down into three parts. Auto, bio, and a graph. Auto means self. You probably have seen it in words like automobile, car that moves by itself, and automation, process that moves by itself. Bio means life. Many words with bio have something to do with life or living beings. Biology is the study of life. Microbiology is the study of very small life forms. Graph means to write. Other words that have graph in them have something to do with drawing or writing. Calligraphy is beautiful writing. Photography is the writing of pictures using light. Now guess the meaning of autobiography with the three parts combined. It means a story about a person's life written by a person himself or herself. Bingo! What are the common word roots that you should learn? Of course, the more roots you know, the larger vocabulary size you will have. For beginners and intermediate level learners, start with the 30 most common roots. Learning these components can help you decode over 10,000 words. If you want resources for learning word roots systematically, then these books are fantastic. You'll learn not only roots, but also the histories and stories behind them, and your brain will make better connections between different word families. If you want a free online source that explains the origin of words, then the Online Etymology Dictionary is great. The root words are like the roots of a tree. Only if a tree has a strong root system does it grow higher. For me personally, building up my knowledge of the word roots tremendously helped me get higher scores on language exams, survive in American graduate school, and work at international organizations. If you take some time to learn the most common word roots, you'll enlarge your vocabulary effectively. Thanks for watching. I'm Xiaoming Mao. See you next time.